Kate. I'm Avon. And I'm Sonia. And today we're dishing with you from Sushi Rock in Arlington in Clarendon, that area. I know, Kate's coming out to the hood. What can we say? <laughs> but Sushi Rock is awesome. I love this place. We have some very interesting sushi, um, which has great names, like half of them I've forgotten. Light My Fire, The, the Pink, Pink Floyd, Floyd, and which one was A whole lot of love. A whole lot of love. This place has got, it's a, it's a rock and roll atmosphere. You come, like you it. hear the music, you get your little rock and roll, sushi roll on. You're, and you're and big uh, into the rock and sushi roll. That's <laughs> That's part of their funny. theme here. That's I know. I just, I just love that you caught on to that. Like I know. That's what you I know. It's, a very, it's a very lovely space. And they have come those, out here. They have the, uh, the, the symbols. The symbols. So like when I tell a joke, symbols. I can be like, Bing. just an idea. That's you know, you got to get creative because yeah. you got creative guests with us. Um, yeah, today we are dishing with Maggie Francois. Maggie, among other things that she does, is like the director guru of fashion extraordinaire at West wow. Potomac, um, I, West I Potomac know. Fashion Academy. <laughs> yes. yes, yes, yes. Um, so you're like a hundred percent always helping young designers yes. to really make a name for themselves. And Washington is not always the place where people think that can happen, but you're going to change that. So yes. tell us a little bit about what you're doing at West Potomac to change that. Well, at West Potomac Academy, it's a two-year program for Fairfax County Public Schools. So the students travel from all over Virginia to take the class. And they're studying for two years um, something that they want to go into fashion. The, the class is called fashion design, but I have students that want to be writers. Like They write for Vogue magazine. Like One of them right now is writing for Seventeen magazine. Ooh, wow. so she's been doing that for a year. Um, I have students that want to be fashion lawyers. People don't think you oh, can yeah. be a fashion lawyer. Or merchandising. Merchandising, brand. visual, you name it. All we facets teach of them, the business. All facets of the business of the fashion industry. And then we send them off. I have students all over the country, and I've been doing this for 15 years. Now, Tim Gunn is originally from this area, so I yes. feel like there's this natural, you know, we're stylish people. Exactly. We're classically oh, stylish. Tim, Tim was in sculpture. So he started as a corker in, right? Right. So right. It all he, evolved into fashion. So would he, would he have been the type of person that might have come to the Kid Academy? Yes. yes. And we have a student there, actually, that's just like Tim Gunn. Oh, do you really? Yes. What, what does I that mean? mean? Yeah. He just acts like him. He's poised and styled. He make says, it make, it work. Make, it work. make it work. Make it work all day long. If that's Trademark right. Well, I think that's that. the thing that from watching that show, Project Runway on on uh, Bravo, when we see it, you know, as well as uh, when I see it as not a fashion person, I kind of pick up all these things. But Tim is really good at, at cultivating people's raw talent. So, uh, in your job, is that what you see that's that you can do? When they come into my classroom, I see what they're best at. Like, of course, they all come into my classroom. I have 60 students every year, and they all come in and they say, "Oh, I want to go into fashion design." By the time they leave the academy, I may have one or two people that want to go into fashion design because they don't. Know about the industry so my job is to teach them about all the jobs in that industry and then place them where they best fit so how would you do that especially if somebody has uh, a preconceived vision as to where they see their fashion career going how would I do that is by teaching them the different areas see what they're best at when it comes to the industry sending them up sending them up on internships sitting so down mean, talking to them you guys do a number of, I mean, not just events although we want to talk about some events you have coming right. up but you give them all kinds of opportunities to like design, aren't you going to design the maybe the cocktail dress that Miss oh, DC yes, wears right. at Miss so America? We get a lot of calls for the students to participate in different events, either interning, designing garments, um, helping special clientele. They come in there, they'll make a dress for you. So they get all this different opportunity, writing for articles, you know, interning for different blogs. So it's, it's an array of different things I can name. I mean, because people don't think of the entire industry, like, exactly. and I probably kids too think like, well, I want to work for Vogue or I want to be a fashion, a fashion designer. designer, and there's so designer. many other things. Exactly. So that's I just want to wear the clothes. That's introduce so them to the different yeah. areas, and then we take a trip to New York for four days, and we go into the nitty gritty of the industry. Yeah. We'll go into Condé Nast publications. They'll let us come in and see what they actually do, see how they put it together. Even for Washington Post, we know the graphic designer that lays out all those pictures. You would never know that's somebody that studied fashion to right. lay out just the pictures. That's all she does all day. So when the students see that, they're like, okay, I want to do that. So, so exposing them to the different things that they exactly. could do in their career, not just, you know, Cutting, cutting, and sewing, and cutting and sewing. Cutting and sewing. Exactly. What, what's the age group and the sort of type of students that you get? Are they I Northern Virginia? What are, what's they're Northern Virginia. We're trying to change it and bring it into DC. 
you know, in Maryland to make it, you know, no, because I get calls all day. I'm sure. From DC, Maryland students, can I come to your academy? But it's only funding for Virginia students. You have to be a Virginia resident. So let's talk about funding for a little bit because he asked, how do you help the students? And I was talking about some of the opportunities. You've got an event coming up on November 4th called Project Fundway. Right, and this is how we target the whole area by doing Project Fundway. Project Fundway is actually a scholarship program that I came up with years ago because being in the classroom, I find that it's hard for us to find creative scholarships for the students. So we came up with the idea of doing a scholarship program, and we didn't want to make it normal, like fill out the application, right. send it in, read the essay, no. So what we did was we came up with a way a stu the students will send in sample garments of what they've created. So I, we had students send us stuff from D.C., Maryland, Virginia, all over. We had a group of judges come in. I don't ever judge because I can't. I would say yes to everybody. <laughs> so we had a group of judges come in. We should judge. We'd, we'd be, yeah, we'd, we'd be like that. We'd be we like judge. the American Idol of no, judging. No, really, really. I'm telling you, it's like that. Really, should be Paula it's Bill. serious because the judges are like battling, and I'm like, oh my gosh, calm down. They're flipping the garments inside out. They're looking at the stitching. Wow. Wow. They're going through, answering questions to make sure we pick the four finalists for the scholarship because it's important. Because we don't want to just give. A scholarship to anybody that just doesn't know anything about construction and the design industry. Are these students already in? Uh, are they? They're in college and high school. Okay, okay. Are they already? Are they, are they part of uh, the program already, or are they? They no. run the gamut. Or do they have to be fashion designers? Can they be? In no, they can be in merchandising. They can be in writing. They just have to go to school for some facet in that fashion industry. So they don't have to be just design. So they just have to be studying fat, something in fashion to get the scholarship. Well, we've whetted the audience's appetite for this event. Is it an open event? Ticket at event, how it's can they come to event, it? Um, at the Warner Theater, and you know, it's $10 for admission for the kids, and all the funds that we raise is for the scholarship for the students. We've had private donors that have given to the scholarship, we have sponsorships coming in from FedEx, so they donate to make this happen for the students. If I see something that I want to wear, can I buy it at that event too? If you see something you want to wear, you would have to make an appointment for it to be custom made for oh. you. Because it's one of a kind I'm that a model night. size too, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'd one, fit into it's, it. It's one of a kind that night. <laughs> one of a wow. kind that night. Well, Maggie, you're one of a kind. Oh, thank you. Thank you for helping our local students to really put Washington, D.C. and the Northern Virginia area on the map for fashion and design. Thank and you thank so you so much. much for being with us. Thank you. And as always, thank you for being with us. You can follow us on Twitter at The District Dish or be our fan on Facebook, facebook.com slash The District Dish. See you next time.